Susan from Stuart Design and in today's tutorial we're going to talk about object styles. It works the same way that your paragraph and your character styles works. The only different thing about the object styles is you're applying it to a object and not a character or a font. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started by drawing uh, with my image box. I'm going to do a couple of image boxes here. I'm going to go ahead and draw one. All right, and just copy and paste it. Now if I hold down my option key on my keyboard, you see how I'm copying and pasting. It looks like a double arrow. It's, it's a lot easier to do than going in and doing command C, command B, or uh, you know the copy and paste. So anyway, now that I've got my boxes up, I want to go ahead and go in and assign the look and feel to this box. So I'm going to go to my stroke. I'm going to do a, hmm, an eight point. All right, and I'm going to assign the color to it also, too. I'm going to do a lighter magenta shade. All right, and then I'm going to do an effect. Uh, let's do a drop shadow. That might be nice. So let's go ahead and do a drop shadow here. And right now, this drop shadow is really intense. It's at 75%. Let's just uh, tone down that opacity so it's something that's visually appealing. Now, in every dialog box or window, you have preview. And if I click that preview off and on, it gives me an idea of what my selection looks like before I hit OK. In this case, the 20% here, the, the, the uh, shadow effect looks good, so I'm going to just press OK. All right. Now, I'm all into these rounded corners these days, so I'm going to just going to round uh, this corner up. Now, in InDesign, if you look here uh, to the box, that's the yellow box, you click it once, and it gives you these uh, rectangles. So right now, I'm going to click on the actual rectangle, or triangle, I guess I should say, and pull it in. That's going to give me a rounded corner. All right. Now that I've got my look and feel set up, the next thing I want to do is go into my object, go down to fitting, and we're going to go to frame fitting options. All right. Now that we're on frame fitting options, my content fitting, that means the picture that I'm going to bring in, I want to fill frame proportionately, and I want this to be aligned from the center. Press OK. All right. Now that I've set up my look and feel and my uh, proportions, proportions of the actual box, I'm going to go ahead and assign that object style. So I'm going to go in and just do a new object style. All right, new pictures. All right, go in and frame fitting options. I'm going to just check that because we've already assigned it. And press OK. Now I'm going to assign that uh, specific object style. Now each time I click on my different picture boxes, there we are. I'm going to assign each picture or the picture to the different picture boxes. In this case, I'm going to Here's something that's really a different than uh, than some of your character or your pair. Uh, sorry, your character and your paragraph styles. Something that's really super different is that you can go in and click that actual uh, object style and drag it over your box, all right? And then it assigns the actual object style. Oh, that's kind of neat. So now that I've got my picture boxes here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get uh, some random photographs off my desktop. All right. Now, if you look here in my brush, it's got uh, four images inside of my brush. Now, if I just click on each one of these objects, it fills the actual uh, frame with the picture. So. And that's a really cool tip and trick uh, for the object styles. Object styles are really good. You always want to use object styles when you're doing any type of multi-page document. Or if you're just uh, wanting all of your text boxes or your image boxes uh, consistent throughout your whole entire document. So anyway, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you learned something. This is Susan from Stuart Sign. Thanks.